How's it going, movie fans? My name is Jonathan. I am a man of movies, and today we are going to be talking about a horror film that has been escaping me for more than 16 years, and I finally decided to go and check it out. Let's get right into it. Saw is written by Lee Whannell and directed by James Wan and stars Tobin Bell, Lee Whannell himself, Carrie Elwes, Danny Glover, and Michael Emerson. And the film is about two men who regain consciousness tied up to a pipe at either end of this disgusting bathroom. And they soon come to realize that they are part of a game orchestrated by this sadistical serial killer named Jigsaw. And they must complete his torturous demands if they want to survive. I gotta give a quick shout out to my buddy Brad. I'll link his video up above of his Saw review. He linked me this short documentary on the making of the first Saw and it's crazy the humble beginnings that this film came from with Juan and Winnell at young ages scripting the concept that would be this movie. When they finally take it to Hollywood, the budget being only about one million dollars in the production being about 18 days the achievement is crazy and so deserving for how big this movie became with this being the first time that i've seen saw i was surprised that i came out with something other than just the torture porn that many people say this film is about and in its core found a true crime detective story with elements of horror with in. Yes, there's graphic imagery and torture, scary situations and kidnapping, but the underlying terror in this story is what an ungrateful life gets you. Jigsaw doesn't do what he does because he thinks it's fun. He's been through hardships and he is angered by how ungrateful the people in this film are are and he puts them in this situation but contrary to popular belief he actually wants them to survive and i was taken aback by the thoughtful writing of lee Winnell in this horror movie because his characters are not caricatures and they're not lazily written to give the horror fan community a quick fix of blood and guts but instead we get a good mix of the grim incorporated with the complex the characters in a matter of 90 minutes or so are so fleshed out and well thought of that it gives us the audience an opportunity to choose whether we want to love them and hate them outside of just superficial appearances. And if you've seen the film or grown up with it, then you know about its sense of dread and mystery. But as a freshman in this franchise, it was so refreshing with this original take of the mystery where we can play along and try and decipher the clues throughout, which in turn leads to one of the best endings in a horror movie I've seen in my whole life. But I can't end this review without at least touching on some of the most disappointing aspects of the film. There are some tropes, but it doesn't really bother me because if a trope or cliche is in a film, if you can at least execute it well, you're forgiven in my book. The acting at times can be lackluster. The characters are great. The way they're written is exquisite, but the acting is not all up to par at times. But the biggest thing I hated, and you could see it more as a stylistic choice, is the editing. It was all over the place, I thought. It was nutty and, and wacky, and I was just not there for it. And I can see how the editing adds the element of horror throughout this true crime story but it took me out of that same story constantly. To wrap it all up, Saw was a film that got a bad rap from me because of outward appearances and the sequel's dire need to emphasize the torture porn aspects throughout its marketing that I missed out on a captivating horror film that mixes in true crime to establish a shocking motive with shocking moments and a terrific score. And while the editing and acting are lackluster and there are some rushed moments of development that hindered the greatness of this horror classic, it doesn't hinder it by much. With that being said, Saw is a Well, like always, like this video, share this video with family and friends, and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, movie fans.